spider crab, I would say. And then going forward and backwards. Cool, isn't it? Hello everyone, so today we're going to build the spider robot here and as you can see it does not require as much as I anticipated so I'm really excited about it so let's get on with it. So there you go people, I never ever imagine I'm going to see a smart home robot that looks like a spider, especially with all these creepy wires and so on. But enough said, let's actually turn it on, shall we? Blue light, and we got, you got. Oh, look at that. How creepy it is. And as you can see, we got Buddy back here. So let's actually try to entertain our buddy here, shall we? So, a bit of a stroke. Dory, Dory. <laughs> Look at that. It's like, shake it, shake it, shake it. Oh, that's when it's angry. Okay, so when it's angry, the leg actually is put together on both ends. So let's try on this angle so we can see the buddy's face here. See, buddy likes it. Every time I actually, um, I stroke and then, you know, body reacts to that. <laughs> That's when it's angry. I love it when it's actually get angry. Uh, it goes slightly forward every time when you actually stroke it, when it actually re reacts to your stroking, yeah? Hello, buddy. <laughs> That's really cool. Okay, that's when it's actually in love. Yeah? That's when it's angry. <laughs> it's a bit threatening. And that's when it laughs. So on the driver mode, as usual, we got the conference call or video call, uh, video recording, take a photo. And this transformation button seemed to just reset the actual legging of the um, actual spider. I don't think there's anything happening here. But anyhow, this is just for going forward. Okay, going backwards. It's more like a crab, isn't it? And this is turning left. Okay, let's just show you on a different uh, way. So, yeah, that's turning right. And that's turning left. I like that. Spider crab, I would say. And then going forward and backwards. Cool, isn't it? So I spent about 20 to 30 minutes to update the software and as you can see there is an AI control here. So what happens is that if you actually click on it, it says that click on the identification box to lock it. I have absolutely no idea what this identification box is, but I assume it's some sort of like a symbol or that it could actually track and so on so that sounds very promising now if you actually go to the settings here this is something i failed to show you early on you can actually change the display settings here uh, so resolution you can change the camera uh, from 480p to 720p uh, the side switch you can actually turn it on as well so if you turn on the side switch is when you get this target on the middle of the screen here you can see but if you want to turn it off uh, you just need to turn it off here. Now, next one is the LED color settings. I currently have it under the yellow color, but let's actually show you what sort of colors it can change. So this could be from reddish, orange, yellow again, green, bright blue, ocean blue, dark blue, purple, and black, okay? And you can also do the electronic image stabilization as well. Now, next one is control settings. You can actually adjust the maximum speed, maximum turning speed, 
as well. So lastly, you can actually change the volume so you can put it onto silent mode or just the volume as well. Unfortunately, on the ULAB, we haven't got anything unique for this spider robot. So that's a bit of a shame. But anyhow, let's actually try this out on the floor to see how easy it is to move around. What's unique about this control system is that you can also move sideways at the same time, not only front and the back, as you can see, but if you want to change rotation stationed, then that's when you actually do this or that, okay? This doesn't particularly do anything. It's only changing the directions left and right. But if you want to move at the same time again, that's how you do it, okay? Pretty cool, isn't it? So in other words, that's how you do it. Sideways movement, going backwards and going forwards. So again, if you want to change it in the same spot, that's turning left and that's turning right. It's a bit slow. So this is probably going to be the shortest uh, series of the UGOT assembly robot. And again, it was dead simple to assemble. There were a few wiring connections initially that all I need to do is just disassemble some of these parts. I think it was mainly these motors in the end. You got to be careful whether it's actually put it in the right place. Otherwise it will go like other way around or actually tension to the other way, pushing towards the leg joint. And then uh, you got uh, the brain will tell you something is wrong. You just need to fix that because it's going to show you on the screen and etc. So that's overall the impression. And I really enjoyed playing around with it. Again, having a smart home robot with chat GPT knowledge moving like a spider, that is quite unique. Previously, we tried it with a robot dog, but this time we have it with a spider, which is more cool, robotic futuristic so i hope you enjoyed this video but if you have any queries regards to this <laughs> like this please do comment below and thank you very much for watching this video this is ljp tech all the best bye bye